Welcome to the Center for Surgical Weight Management at Gwinnett Medical Center, Duluth. Here you join a special community, one that supports and guides you, a place where you fit in, experience hope and respect, build lifelong relationships, and learn skills and coping strategies that will change your life forever. Life is great now. I get to go have life with my family. I get to do things with them that I didn't do before. We, we go places, we do things, we're a family now. Everybody's life is different now. It didn't just change my life, it changed theirs too. I mean, they get out and they're active because I'm active. My life is brighter. It's just more enhanced. I love and enjoy my life. I loved it and enjoyed it before, but now I can enjoy it fuller because I move better, I breathe better, I get around better, you know, I go more places. And truth be told, I fit more places. I get to live life like a kid again, you know, just an older kid, but I have a lot of fun. I'm able to do things I've never been able to do. Simple things that everybody else kind of takes for granted. You don't really know until you get to where you can't do them. You know, I enjoy spending time with my kids now and doing act outdoor activities that before just couldn't happen. I mean, I could barely function, much less get out and do anything with them. So. I used to wake up in the morning and think about what two or three things I was going to go hit that day. and. This, this buffet and that buffet, and it, it, it's almost like a relief from being trapped. Um, I have the confidence to go into a store and, you know, um, you know, go into a store where there isn't plus size clothes and um, go into a regular store and go in the rack and feel like, you know, you know, I can fit that or I have to go back and get a smaller size. And the whole aspect of that is pretty wonderful. I guess my major motivation was health. You know, and, and I, but I had concerns about my age. I didn't know if old people did this or not, if this was just a young person's surgery. I didn't want to pay out a lot of money for medicines when I retired. I, I didn't want to have to consider that. And um, so I started looking into it more. I look back at my wedding photos. I didn't like how I looked for the first time in my life. You know, I, I can't say I hadn't been uncomfortable before. Or I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do but I haven't ever looked at myself as the fat guy. And when I looked at those pictures, I was like, I'm not gonna be that guy, no. My life was at risk either way. If I stayed obese, I, I was in danger of losing, not, ne not necessarily my life right away, but so much of my quality of life would be lost. That's what I really wanted to do is get healthy. It's not an appearance thing for me, it's health, you know. Um, being good looking just kind of came along with it. For me, I had started um, having breathing problems. I would struggle to breathe to walk a flight of stairs, and now I don't walk a flight of stairs, I run a flight of stairs. I started out in high school as an apprentice electrician and actually went through a four-year apprenticeship program and worked doing construction electrical work for over 15 years. But the last few years of it, it was miserable. I'd come in every night, my feet were rot with pain, my ankles, my knees totally hurt. It, was, it got to a point to where I was almost handicap from what my trade had been to be able to make a living. I couldn't even tie my shoes, man. That's something that a lot of people don't even know. My wife had to put my socks on and tie my shoes for me. I just yo-yoed. I'd lose a little bit, gain a lot. Lose a little bit, gain a lot. And it, it just got to a point for me to where I knew it had to end. I've never seen any 70-year-old, 500-pound men. Have you? I've changed my entire family's path because of what I chose to do. We do stuff as a family, we walk together, we swim now. It turned out to be like my life now. It's not just something that I choose to pick up and stop and pick up and stop. It's not like any other thing I've done because it's just my life now. It's just little things like being able to fit into a chair, being able to fit in a plane seat, being able to sit on the bus seat, being able to go to the amusement park and get on a ride and close the bar down. I'm so glad that I made the decision to have bariatric surgery. I'm sitting here in front of you today, a healthy, vivacious, active, just, I can't even tell you enough words to sum it up how I feel. I feel absolutely wonderful. They call them the wow moments that we have and just simple things, things that most people take for granted, like being able to go in a, a restaurant and just sit in a booth not have to pull up a chair and worry about if it's going to break. Just, like I said, simple things. Going into a store or uh, anywhere and not having 50 people look at you like you're some kind of circus freak, you know, it, it's, uh, it's hard. A lot of hard years. Actually, I 
just was able to go back and get another, my two year physical checkup. And for the first time in my life, they didn't mark obese. So that was huge. It isn't as if our, our feelings have changed for each other or we love any, each other differently, but you know, she, she's willing to go do stuff. We can go to the park, we can run after the kid. Um, you know, she's more active, we can go do stuff. We can be out in public. Um, she dresses hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, there, there are a lot of different dynamics, um, but you know, I, I love my new wife. It's, it's an amazing transformation. At Gwinnett Medical Center Duluth, you receive state-of-the-art medical care in a comfortable, soothing environment that promotes relaxation and healing. Our highly trained, caring professionals are devoted to your safety, dignity, and successful recovery. Historically, bariatric surgery hasn't always had the best reputation. Um, but modern bariatric surgery, I guess over the past 10 years, we've made so many advances in bariatric surgery. This is a disease that deserves treatment, and we can get them to a better place. And that's what we do. Once they come to their grips that this is a medical problem, um, then they're still afraid of, of the implications of treatment. So the way I like to approach that patient is, is to give them the, the other side of the story. The, the life without obesity, life without diabetes, without high blood pressure. What's that gonna look like? How are they gonna deal with that type of a life? And I think when they look at the, the two sides of that coin, it makes it a little easier for them to make the decision. This is a safe procedure. Um, this is a safe process and it's effective. Not just for one patient, uh, not just for a couple of special patients, but we're effective on almost everyone we're able to touch. When you look at the facts about obesity, it is more dangerous for the patient to do nothing, to, to stay morbidly obese. When you look at those facts, that's the more scary lifestyle than actually seeking help. Before surgery, I was terrified. And I don't even think terrified is the right word. I was scared more than I've ever been in my life. But then I got to the hospital and it was not anything like I thought it was going to be. From the time I made it in the door until the time I left, they, you know, were as helpful as could be. I had the surgery on Thursday evening. Then by 6 o'clock the next day, I was home and uh, on Friday. And by Monday, I was walking on the treadmill. The way I, I, I describe it is I think when that medical center kind of chose me because when I went in the first seminar, I just felt welcome from the beginning, you know, as smiling faces, you know, accompanied by a world of knowledge and comforting that, you know, I left there that day knowing that that was where I was going to go. There was no doubt in my mind. I did the surgery because I was ready for it. I was ready for a change. There were no ifs, ands, or buts in my mind of whether I wanted it or whether I needed it. I was ready for the change. The lady in my office had had it done at Gwinnett and um, I was very impressed with the kind of support that she was getting and I thought that this was the place I needed to be. From the moment you arrive at the Center for Surgical Weight Management, you are part of our family. We will take very good care of you every step of the way. You know, most of the time when my patients come in to see me for the first time, they're very nervous, they're anxious. Some of them feel very ashamed. And shame is a very powerful emotion. And you know, here they are coming into a weight loss center and they feel like maybe they're gonna be judged. And I've heard patients say before, how did I let myself get this way? And what they learn from us is that obesity is absolutely a disease. It's not their fault. And what we're here for is to help them understand that it is a disease and that there is a treatment for it. And so what we show them through the process is we educate them the entire way through. We tell them what to expect. And by the time they leave our office for the first time, these folks feel a sense of hope. I can do this and that they have support here in our program that's going to help them get there. I, I really didn't have any hope for anything else. I really didn't. I, um, I, I put in as this was kind of my last ditch hope for anything working. I was I was miserable. I, I was my heaviest in my life and I, I I just I didn't know what else to do. Over the years she's come to me with a lot of the, the latest, greatest, newest ideas for how she was gonna lose weight and how it was gonna transform her life. So when she told me she wanted to have bariatric surgery, I just kinda threw that all in the same pile. Um, I was completely against using a, a surgical option for what I thought was just a behavior. The part of the 
support group where everyone started going around giving their wow moments and telling their stories. Um, people are talking about, you know, my, my grandchild hugged me and could reach all the way around me. And, you know, I can walk up and down stairs. My knees don't hurt. My back doesn't hurt. I don't have diabetes anymore. Um, after listening to that for about 30 minutes, they got around to me and really all I had left to say was, I have to support my wife in this. I can't stand in her way for this, this choice. Let me tell you about the naysayers. I knew someone that had the surgery and this happened to her and I knew someone that had the surgery and that happened to him. And you know, I thought to myself, I could sit here and I could wonder and look back on what they're saying happened to other people. And time just keeps ticking while I'm sitting here thinking, time is not sitting still. While I'm sitting here thinking about, I'm scared to do it, the time is still going. I'm still 305 pounds. I'm still having trouble breathing. I'm still sleeping up on top of 10, 12 pillows. And that person is still talking and saying the same thing. So Candy, guess what? The decision is yours. Either you're gonna do it, or you're not. Either you're gonna get healthy or you're not. Which one is it gonna be? Your healthcare team at the Center for Surgical Weight Management supports and guides you along your weight loss journey. They help you reach success through personal transformation and healthy lifestyle changes. It's important for our patients to know that regardless of what their needs are at any time along this journey, that we're going to be here to help them be successful. My role in the program is to uh, help people stay on track. And a lot of the work is helping them to gain self-awareness about what it is they're doing or not doing that is creating the problem. The staff taught me so many things like um, mindful eating, thinking about what you're eating while you're eating it. Food doesn't control me now. I control the food. I think that people need to hear that the program really does work. The surgery really does work. You have to work with the surgery. Um, and it's a journey. It's a journey into yourself, but it is well worth the journey. I love my support group. I would do it again in a moment just to do a support group. I've met people that I'll be friends with for the rest of my life um, and people that inspire me and I think that's something that you can't get very many other places. Classes taught by behavioral therapists and that there was going to be psychological support uh, maybe I could get to the bottom of how I got to be this size in the first place. I guess the program showed me that I could trust somebody enough to be vulnerable enough to be honest. I had some concerns um, early on that um, my change in the way that I was going to eat would affect my family, my friends, that I would be drawing attention to myself. I realized that it wasn't gonna be as difficult as I thought. It was more about the amount that I ate and the kinds of things that I ate and that most of those things that I needed to eat would be available to me in restaurants, even in fast food restaurants. You can ask for just a plain chicken breast, please, no sauce. I have a lot of people that travel internationally, but this particular person, uh, about a month after surgery, had to go to Saudi Arabia. Um, so we researched the cuisine and where he was at his time after surgery and some of the food selections that would be fine for him. The hardest thing is getting your mind right to to know that you're going to be okay like i don't i don't eat the same way i did because i don't eat before i ate anything and everything now i eat for fuel so i can go do everything i want to do so i think if i had to tell somebody what i thought about them doing this what i thought about the decision to have this surgery for another person it has to be about um, wanting the freedom to not look at activities and say, I wish I could do that, but I just don't think I can. Calm down and trust the process because it really does work if you choose to have it work. Um, you can make the choice to have it work and it works great as long as you like commit to what it is you're doing. It works really well. I think that's the one thing that really surprised me when I finally just said, okay, I'll do it and not fighting it and not like, trying to do what I wanted to do anyway. When I finally just said, okay, I'll do what they asked me to do, that's when it got easier. Don't, you know, be too quick to say, you know, things aren't working or, 
you know, don't step on that scale on a daily basis because you may not see a change every day. Be willing to use all the tools. Don't just pick the ones that you think you need because trust me, you need every one of them. And you might tell yourself you don't because I did too. Oh, I just need it. No, you need all of it. That's why you're here and they got it. There's a sense of hope that comes with being a part of our community, a place that changes lives, heals lives, saves lives. On behalf of all of us, thank you for choosing the Center for Surgical Weight Management at Gwinnett Medical Center, Duluth, where we transform lives one person at a time.